Tex Prison Story Family Salute, y'all. It's your boy Tim Snow back here with another one. And this video here is definitely the real deal. It happened a few months ago on Hutchins Unit, but it was just leaked to the public right now. The inmate last known was now in Cofield Super Seg over there. And this is a cold attempted murder on a correctional officer. The inmate plays dead literally unresponsive laying on his cell floor and this guy's checking on him he's worried about him he's like trying to get him some help instead of doing the opposite of where a lot of them will just leave you in there laying you know what i mean and when the guy comes out it's on after that he literally attacks the guy and then grabs some metal bar off a food tray and hits him t over 20 times so he's trying to take the man out I'm not sure what kind of goals he was trying to accomplish here. It's not like he's about to grab some keys and escape or anything like that. Maybe he had a personal vendetta on this officer right here, or maybe another officer had done something to him. He's taken it out on this guy. I really don't know. I didn't get any type of backstory on that, right? And this does happen for a lot of reasons. So maybe somebody in the comments that works at Hutchins or knows what's going on can let us know, right? We sure appreciate that. There's been a few videos leaked in the last couple of days by TDCJ employees themselves for different reasons. The first video, which is on this channel, shows the officer at Clemens unit being overly aggressive, coming into the inmate's face. And basically the inmate punches him one time, knocks him out, and then gives up. He doesn't try to hurt him or anything like that. He try to get him out of his face and out of his personal space. Well, they made a big deal about that in the media, right? Said that inmate attacked officer. He had to be rushed to the hospital and all this type of stuff. And I guess they were indicting the inmate. The guards there didn't like that. They knew what was happening, that that dude was being too aggressive and unprofessional. So they leaked that video out to help the inmate and try to stop some of that, right? Because all the guards aren't bad for sure. There's a lot of them are just there for the paycheck, and some of them actually believe in human rights. They just can't show them too good in there. But anyway, off this topic, the second video came up later the same day or the next day. I can't remember from Ferguson unit where it shows an inmate just blatantly, cold-bloodedly attacking a female guard. And that, so we've had two different stories in the comments of that video, one saying that that man was a chronic masturbator and had caught in a lot of cases and she had wrote some somebody else wrote kind of an opposite story that she wrote a bogus case on them so who really knows right only the ones that are there that work there know and unless one of them speak up which they can't do while they work there we'll probably never know the real truth this third video leaked out here i believe is still counteracting that first one right the good old boy system and the watching each other's back thing is so strong in there and they fear negative public relations so bad to even see a hint of an officer that might have abused somebody shakes them to the core so here goes the second one coming out showing inmates being violent and nobody in the public here is going to be shocked i know y'all are going to be surprised that an inmate is violent or even trying to attack an officer right it's kind of understood that that's going to happen sometimes you're in there with a bunch of crazy ass people that really can't be told what to do so with this video the man plays dead lays down on his floor comes out and tries to murder the officer there's no other way to put it he hits him with an iron bar over 20 times and he's probably close to death after this happens. So if anybody knows how that correctional officer turned out after this, is he okay? Is he back to work? Will he come back to work? Let us know in the comments too. And also, if you're watching this, let me know, would you come back to work? Would you be okay going back to work after an inmate just hit you 20 times with an iron bar after you thought he was sick? Maybe, maybe not, right? So I'm going to let the video go. Check it out. All these videos are a little shaky because they record them on their cell phone off the computer screen. And you have to understand and think about it too. Every time something happens, 
it's recorded like this. Somebody get murdered, attacked, whatever. They're taking it home. They're showing their friends and family. And if there's any mm -hmm. TDCJ mm -hmm. staff that don't like the silliness and has videos like this, you can email them to me. The email's in the video description. I will always keep everything anonymous. This is bad here because, look, he's stuck on his back now. And that's him hitting him with the steel bar. And if this isn't basically attempted murder, I don't know what is, right? The guy, I don't know if he was ever getting out of prison in the first place, but he's not getting out of prison now. Any judge, jury see that? It's too violent. It's coming out looking like a caveman already. So I don't know, y'all. This is literally not the life you want. Somebody left a comment saying uh, they basically didn't like that I said something about the COs having it hard too, right? But I don't care. You have to be open-minded in this life. You have to be able to see things from both perspectives. Yes, I was an inmate. Yes, I snuck and had to hide everything from them people, and I stayed away from them, right? I didn't feel like friends, and they were definitely enemies. But I never held no personal grudge against them, right? Because I, I was smart enough to realize they're humans. You do anything to them people, disrespect them, make their day harder or whatever, they might hold that grudge against you for the rest of the time you're in there. There's just no reason for that, right? Fucking the system. That's what they call it. If you've been in there long enough, you know which CEO is cool with what, which ones ain't cool with anything. You know what I mean? And if you're the person that still tries to go against the grain, you're not going to get far. Me and Mr. Larry talked about it all the time. Convicts know how to maneuver the system. They know how to operate and stay low key, stay out the way. And then after you do that for a while, them people that can, that got the keys, they see who they can trust. And prison starts getting a lot better for you, right? But if you're one of them that catches that jack off case constantly, out of place cases all the time, a failure to follow an order just because you want to be a dumbass, yeah, you're going to do hard time. If you want to spend all your time in closed custody, medium custody, trying to prove you're tough, that you're hard or whatever, you're messing up your own time. You know what I mean? So that's what's happening to a lot of men, right? I see a lot of people saying that COs are harassing them and bothering them and everything, and I believe it. I believe it. But you're in there in a place with so many men so many different faces and personalities that it's kind of easy to fall back and blend in if you want to kind of stay out of the way right and that's how everybody should be doing their time but then you'll be right here on this cell block with this crazy guy coming out trying to kill the cop they send him to another prison and y'all locked down for months and months and months there's just nothing cool about it and it's not the life you want right y'all make sure y'all subscribe and hit that thumbs up button